Look at that beautiful bronze bulldog up here in Alaska. Hey guys, what's going on? Thanks for stopping by. In this video, I'm just going to show you guys how to break down the Zepco Bullet for cleaning. The cleaning schedule states that you should clean this thing once a month if you use it heavily, like I do. Fish on. <laughs> oh, fish on, baby. Fish on, fish on. If you hardly use this thing at all, all you got to do is clean it once a year. Now, the neat thing about the Zepco Bullet is that you get a spare spool. And in a three-step process, I believe it's three-step, might be four, whatever, you can swap out the spool with different line. So if I'm going to do a different type of fishing, in a couple minutes, I'm rocking and rolling with a different type of line. I don't have to completely de-spool this reel and re-spool it up. So it's a really cool feature. I'll show you all how to do that. Then at the end, I'm going to show you guys how to swap the handle from right-hand users to left-hand users. Thanks for tuning in. Let's get after it. All right, tools you need is a small screwdriver. Make sure you have the right screwdriver so you're not stripping the screws that are in here. Also, you need a fat flathead screwdriver and then obviously some uh, oil and grease. All right, the first step is to tighten down your drag all the way. Next, we're gonna press the button and unscrew the front cover assembly. Just like that. Now, if we hadn't pressed that button, these little nubs would be sticking out and it'd be very difficult, if not impossible, to unscrew this front cover assembly. So by depressing the button, those nubs retract and now your front cover assembly comes on and off very easily. Okay, the next step, we're going to restrain the handle and unscrew the spinner head assembly. It's going to pop like that and then it just unscrews right on off. Next, our spool is exposed and this is why we have Tighten down our drag all the way. It essentially locks down the spool so that we can twist it on and off. If we didn't tighten down the drag, it would just kind of free spin and you can't get any torque on it. So we're going to tighten down that drag all the way. We're going to look at the arrows. It says clockwise to remove, counterclockwise to install. So we're going to turn it clockwise till it stops and pull it out. Now if we had a different backup spool with different line on it, we would install it just like that. So, fit it into the grooves, turn it counterclockwise, lock it back in, screw your spinner head assembly back on, and then throw your front cover assembly back on, and you're ready to rock and roll with some new line. Okay, the next step is to unscrew these two little screws right here. Now, this one on this side has a little gear in the way, so you might have to wiggle that gear out of the way. Make sure you have a good seat on that screw so we're not stripping it. So now we find the screw head. We're well seated and we're just going to twist off. What that's going to do is it's going, to, it's going to slowly release your back cover assembly down here on the bottom. So let's get to the other side. Unscrew that guy. And now our back cover assembly is starting to break loose. Now our back cover assembly pops off, our drag wheel can pop out, there goes our two screws, just like that, and now we have this view. Now reading the manual, all you got to do is apply oil on these two bearings up front, so you got a bearing right here, a bearing on the left, and then a bearing up top here. So there's three bearings total that you can lubricate with the back cover assembly off. Then you got this vertical gear up top and all you got to do is apply a little bit of grease up there. Just like that. And now the reel is properly lubricated. I haven't had this reel that long. I haven't dropped it in the dirt or anything so it's relatively clean inside. So now I'm going to reinstall the back cover plate. like that oh and you don't want to forget your drag wheel I always do that so we'll put the drag wheel back in we have reinstalled the back cover assembly now we're gonna throw our screws back in just like that 
and we're just going to screw them down. That one's snug. Now we'll get this guy. Snug it up. Snug up the other side. We don't want to strip the screws out. Make sure it works. We're good to go. Now there's also a bearing up here. We can put some oil on that. And we're ready to rock and roll. So now we're going to put our spool back on. We're going to line it with the grooves, slide it right on, twist it counterclockwise, restrain the handle, screw the spinner head assembly back on. Now I forgot to mention earlier, this also has some directional arrows. So it has a left hand arrow and it says to remove counterclockwise so that can help you out. So now that's on. Now we're going to press the button and screw our front cover assembly back on. Now, of course, the spool I put on still has rubber band on it. And if you were going to set this up to go fishing, you would want, you'd run your uh, line through it. So we'll twist the front cover assembly back on. Check for functionality. Still spins, still depresses. Drag wheel works. So we properly lubricated and cleaned the reel. So now, we'll show you guys how to swap the handle assembly. All you gotta do is unscrew this cover plate on the left side of the reel, and that exposes a crank rod nut. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna unscrew that crank rod nut. That's gonna pop out, and then your handle assembly just pops right on out. Now it's angled right here, so you can't screw up how you insert the handle. There's also grooves inside there. We're going to pop it in on the left side. Just twist it till it goes in. Just like that. We're going to install the crank rod nut on the opposite side. Tighten it down. We don't have to kill it. Just till it's snug. Just like that. screw this cap back on and just snug it down and there you go now the reels all set up for left-hand users and that's all you got to do